And on the subject of alleged scams, is the place you go for COVID testing legit? Lisa Guerrero has the story of a couple facing allegations that they made a fortune with fraudulent COVID test sites. It's called the Center for COVID Control. The Center for COVID Control already has over 200 testing sites nationwide. Their pop-up testing sites like these were everywhere. We're here doing free COVID testing. The company, led by this husband and wife, reportedly made over $140 million processing COVID tests. Last month, the company was raided by the FBI following allegations that they deceived thousands of people. Now questions are swirling that the couple may have used profits from their testing sites to fund a very lavish lifestyle, including the million dollar mansion behind me. On social media, Akbar Ali Syed boasts about owning several luxury cars, including a $3.7 million Ferrari like this one. Some customers say they never received results, and some say they got negative test results via email before they had even taken the test. Former shift supervisor Tina Morales says she finally quit when garbage bags of tests started piling up. We were told to tell customers, make them happy, say whatever to make them happy, get them off the phone and get to the next patient. That included telling them that their results were invalid, even though they had never been tested in the lab. Washington State the Attorney General Bob Ferguson is suing the company for fraud. If a company is willing to falsify records, lie to you, not store your COVID sample accurately, they are playing with your life. When we caught up with a the couple, they were driving a $130,000 Mercedes G-Wagon. We just wanted to, to hear about your side of the complaints against your company, and now is your opportunity we to not, answer. Listen, all you need to know is that you're going to very soon find out that we're not froster, frosters. We didn't do any fraud or any scam, okay? Some people are just concerned about the lifestyle that you're living based on, a, on your company. Okay, come Can come you on. talk about the lavish lifestyle? Off they went. The couple has not been arrested or charged. The company's CEO has previously said due to their rapid growth and high demand for testing, they were not able to meet all their commitments.